What exactly is Detroit style pizza? Let's get it. Well, we have a another pizza video. I think we're going to do a couple weeks of pizza. Last week wasn't really about pizza. It was about how fast I ate. Um, this we don't do enough pizza. I th I love pizza anyway. I think I think we should do more pizza. Well. Because. I'll be the judge to y'all. If y'all want more pizza videos, we'll do them. But we got a couple of different specials that uh, today we're going to focus on a style of pizza. Next week will be another style of pizza. Um, so we're going to do a couple weeks of pizza. Um, and hopefully, you'll enjoy these videos. Yeah. This week, I'm gonna enjoy these videos. Uh, you're going to enjoy them because you get to eat. <laughs> so. But this week, we're going to, the, to try out the new and old style pizza that. Pizza Hut just brought out, and Little Caesars have had. Yeah. So we're going to the fun. I mean, it's, it's almost like a new item for Little Caesars because Little Caesars has had it for has had like the same pizza for years and years and years, and they're just now starting to do like new. Yeah, but they've had this one for a couple. Yeah, uh, they've for about at two least, years. That's been at least five. You think so? Yeah, it's been at least five years. How old am I? I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess it was before. Yeah. So they've Man. had this pizza for a while. Uh, now they don't label it this style, but it is this style pizza, and it's directly contrast with the Pizza Hut that just brought it out and labeling this style pizza. Yeah. So we are talking about the oh, Detroit grab this one. style pizza, or the whatever they call this they deep, deep dish, deep deep dish pizza. Now, when I think deep dish, I think Chicago. Well, Chicago style is completely different than Detroit, than Detroit style. style. When, but when they they've called theirs deep dish, which is not really, that's not Chicago. Chicago deep dish is a completely different style pizza. Is there like a, like, you know, do people from Detroit hate people from Chicago? And I think when when it comes to pizza, any place like New York, Chicago, Detroit, they all hate each other style pizza. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they they all claim to have the best style pizza, which I'm more partial to the, like the New York style pizza. The, the thin crust, the, you know, the, the toasty bottom, more of a little bit crisp on the bottom of it. That's a big slice. That's my style of pizza. I'm more partial to the pizza that you put on my plate and, and I eat. eat. Yeah, I figured you were going to say that. I, I like them all. I don't know. Sometimes I want a lot of crust. Sometimes I want a little bit of crust. They all, they all have their own. It's like sometimes I just want a cheese pizza. Yeah. Because it's, they, every, you know, it always changes. I've, I've said many, millions of times that you can eat pizza for any meal. I mean, that's what Bagel Bites' theme song was, really. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When pizza's on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. That was their but, theme but song. But they don't make dessert Bagel Bites. They do make dessert pizza. They do. Maybe they should go into that feature. Yeah. Dessert maybe. Bagel Bites, because then it could be for breakfast or dinner, really, if you think about it. Yeah, exactly. So, we're going to try this out. Um, now, the price point, you said yours was how much? It's $9 if you get it just right there, plus tax, whatever. Yeah, and this one... Didn't they used to be cheaper? I think the deep dish were... Well, you get the $5 pizza, and then the deep dishes were always more expensive. This was eleven ninety nine before tax. So, depending on whatever your sales tax, sales tax is in your city or state, it could be more, but mine was eleven ninety nine. Now, we haven't opened these up yet, but just off the look of it, that box is bigger than this one. Yeah, you can pretty much eat it. I mean, I, you, can, you can hide this pizza behind I don't, this box Well, here. you got that thing tipping over. Good job. <laughs> well, it's not going to slide off of anything. Well, I'm just saying. I, 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 I don't know if that's going to say anything about the size of the pizza, but the pizza box is bigger, and this costs more. Now, a funny little thing is, I feel like Pizza Hut's having to fight ground, like take up ground. Because for the longest time, Little Caesars was just the underdog. Yeah, they had. They kind of went away in the in the '90s, and now they've kind of went back up. They they have a, a system where they do use cheaper food products, but they also have low overhang with their storefronts. They don't have tables and yeah, chairs. There's no, there's no need for waitressing. Waitress, waitress or anything. They can put their storefronts up pretty quick. No buffets. Exactly. No. So they've kind of went, you know, their business model has brought them back in the main picture. Now they've had this deep, deal, uh, deep dish style, but they also kind of ventured into something that Pizza Hut's had for a long time, and that was the stuffed crust, which we'll focus on next week. 
uh, because there's a new competitor to that market also. But Pizza Hut, I feel like, is not having to fight back. Yeah. And they're already marketing, or they're already coming out with a higher price point for a same style pizza as Little Caesars. But their products, they're, they have cheaper products that they they sell to you. Is this going to be a better product? Is it worth the more money to get this pizza? Is what we're going to dive into. Yeah. I mean, really, <coughs> the main thing is, is how many pizzas can you buy with your stimulus check? You see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we ever get one again. <laughs> you see, I feel like I get way more pizzas with my stimulus check here than I could have. Well, I mean, if you go with the, the, the large pizza, you're definitely going to get a better deal. I mean, technically speaking, pizza is probably the most expensive fast food style pizza yeah, chain restaurant. Chain restaurant. I, I can get Domino's. I can get Papa John's. I can get everything cheaper than Pizza Hut. They're yeah. always more expensive. And really, to me, they're not my favorite go-to pizza, anyways. They used to be, but I've kind of lost. You lost the, uh, you know. I don't know. They're just not what I like. Their old recipe that they had with the sauce and everything. Of course, you didn't like it. it had like chunks of tomatoes. Yeah, but in it. but I've never been a, a huge fan of Pizza Hut. I was always go to our local brand, you know, yeah. chain. Um, Pizza Plus, but if it was a major chain like Domino's, and that's where I would I would go to. This is my style of pizza. They got the Brooklyn style there. I like it. So I'm more I'm more of a if I had to go big chains, I would probably say it depends. Sometimes Papa John's if I'm in the mood, but uh, I don't I don't really care for Domino's. So I, I would probably pick Pizza Hut over Domino's. But you know they they've got their stuff crusted, which is one of the reasons why I would go back to them. But Again, Little Caesars now has a stuffed crust pizza, and it's cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper. So, and, and it tastes just fine. And most of it's, you know, you get this is a whole lot quicker usually than this. Yeah, so. uh, this was this took me. They have these pro already probably pre-made, so you could probably go get in there and get you one that second. This took 14 minutes to get done and and ready yeah. to go. Yeah, the, so. the, the DoorDash person, like whenever I ordered it. I never, it never even said that it, they'd picked it up until they were like right next to the house. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> because it gets, so. cause they just got it and went in and it was there. Um, yeah. Here. But we'll, we'll, we're going to look at the size comparison, the price point we already told you about, taste, and then we'll all round that up to see if the value's worth getting the more expensive Pizza Hut yeah. versus the cheaper, um, possibly, I don't know what size it is. So we'll see what, you know, it could be more pizza for less money. I don't know. We'll see. Now, so, I, will, I will say this. In e either case, if you got local pizza places, go to your local pizza places. Yeah, I, I'd rather, I mean, they don't have this at Pizza Plus, but I'd rather just get a Pizza Plus pizza myself. Or our favorite, more my favorite, Angry Italian. And they yeah. got the Chicago deep dish. It takes 45 minutes to make, but it's worth it. I don't think it... If anybody had actually tried the Angry Italian, it wouldn't be their favorite. It's it's a good pizza. Because I have yet to find anything that tastes better than that. But yeah, so you, know, you can bring your little New York people down here and all that. Well, the, 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 he's technically Chicago style pizza. Oh. So yeah, he does have that. His deep dish. Chicago thin crust and Chicago deep dish. So, I want to try. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's open open it sideways and we'll compare. So like open it, yeah, so they can see at the same time here. All right, so mm, we're pretty comparable size. Size right? is about dead even. Yeah. The size of it. Now there are some contrast to this, big time. Sauce completely on top. Yeah, which is is, is typical deep dish. No matter where you're at, I guess. That's a Chicago type. Yeah, I don't know if Detroit has their sauce on top or not. I don't know. Everybody I've ever seen reviews pizza said that it's just like a regular deep uh, Detroit style pizza. So. You, could you be wrong. Detroit people come. Yeah. Um, this is a very chunky sauce. Um, yeah, that's more like like a real deal. Like they made it there. It's almost like a salsa sauce. You get a little bit more pepperonis with this pizza than that one off the bat. I can already tell. There's about eight pepperonis on this one slice alone. Yeah. Um, you're getting about four per slice on that one. Honestly, beforehand I was thinking. My biggest thing was I love the out, the burnt out cheese on the outside. But it's both both, both of them's have got it. it. Yeah, Usually just this pizza. Um, they, as far as the size, it's about the same size. They look like they use the same kind of pans. Um, yeah, it's very similar. The only difference, really, to me, is the amount of pepperonis on this one and the sauce on the top. That one's the sauce is underneath the cheese. 
No. So whether that's really Detroit, no idea. Leave a comment if you're from Detroit and you get this style of pizza. Now, will so. this be better because of fresher, more expensive ingredients, or will that take your that just you know be good enough to eat? And so off the off the off the mark here, size wise, it's the exact same size. This is more expensive. So yeah. really, it boils down to the taste. Yeah, to me, and, and I'm, I'm gonna go with ease of eating because when I look at this, I feel like I'm gonna be I'm gonna messy. get really messy with this one. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're going on a picnic, that one. Yeah, this was probably. If you have kids, it'd probably be easier to eat with yeah, this. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be. Everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead with this one first. More expensive needs to. I already know what this tastes like anyway. Um, yeah, I feel like, feel like, like you need a fresh palate. There's no uh, sauce underneath the cheese at all. Yeah, it's just like cheese bread, and with sauce on top and pepperonis. Now, I will say, more messy. Though the sauce is over the top of it, there's not a lot to the whole thing. I'm getting more bread and cheese. Yeah, well, uh, big dish. Um, it is for a bread eater. It's a bread eater style pizza. That may be true. Really, what this reminds me of um, is just pretty much breadsticks with dipping in marinara sauce. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I, I don't really think about that. Maybe a pepperoni bread or something. Yeah, a, a cheese pepperoni bread dipped in sauce. Okay. Um, it's not bad. I like the sauce. The, the sauce, sauce is, is zesty. Yeah, it's, very, it's like got a, little, a good flavor. Very zesty sauce. Bread done right. Oh. Don't contaminate the. I'm going to get a different sauce now. Their bread is their signature style dough. Very soft. But really, I'm. It's. Um, it's like I took their. Like a cheese, pepperoni cheese bread dipped in marinara. Um, not bad. Not, I'm super surprised about it or anything. You good? I'm good. <laughs> Let's uh, I'll take a nap afterward. They didn't cut this very well at all. Now, the, I did get an end piece. Just like I did on this one, so I'm comparing it to that. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna get this. I don't want to get this contaminated. Come. Okay. I didn't think about the difference until you said it. Now I can't get it out of my head. Oh, this tastes like a pizza. That tastes like a pizza. This tastes no, like you're dipping it. That tastes in. like a, a breadstick. Yeah. There's a lot more sauce, even to this end piece, than there was. You well, know, when you get in, they really start getting. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like covered. underneath it, it, it pops out fine. It tastes like you're actually eating a pizza. I'll tell you this: bread's a lot denser. Yeah, it's chewier. It's got a lot more to it. I feel like I get filled up on this a lot quicker than I can get filled up on that. This is a dense bread. But, I think the, fr the flavor of the bread is better over there. Greasier though. You can actually see the grease on the bottom of it. Well, this it is actually, right here. Well, I'm talking about like on the oh. bottom of the slices. I noticed when I looked at the bottom of the slice when I had that one in the air. Yeah. You can actually see the grease off the bottom of it. On, on, on it. And I was on this is just kind of brown. They're almost cooked identically though. Yeah. Uh, same amount of time feels like the end pieces are crispy or like nice and got that crisp to it. Um, man, this is hard. Because I want to be fair to Pizza Hut. 
and I want to be fair to Little Caesars. Little Caesars is cheaper. I mean, I can tell the pepperoni is cheaper. Yeah. Than, I mean, it's thinner. And yeah, that was that's definitely better flavor. I think the sauce tastes better. But yet, on some pieces, you are going to get a lack of sauce. I mean, sauce. look at the compared to this, this sauce, and you can't see it on there. But the end piece, it's kind of hard to see. Has hardly any sauce compared to the middle pieces. That could be just a them doing. Yeah, I mean, that could depend on your cook. Yeah, but I feel like that's got an even amount of sauce, and you're getting a l different flavor. This, to me, you're dipping, you might as well just get breadsticks dipping in marinara sauce. But I think this tastes fresher than this does. Maybe. Tastes more yeah. like, like somebody, you know, tastes more Italian. This tastes like, a, a, you know, some big fat guy named Joe said. <laughs> Do you want to throw a let's pizza? Throw together? some of this ragu on here, and I mean, I don't there. mind that sauce over there, like a little. It's Caesars. not bad. It's just uh, you can tell you can tell it's a little Caesar's. I mean, it's cheap tasting. I'm going to give a second opinion. I, I got to. Yeah, you know, I went for yeah. Well, I don't. I mean, what's going to hurt? I don't need these arteries anyway. <laughs> you can yeah. I think I, I see where your point is, where the grease is. You can actually see the grease, like it's it soaked into the bread. But Which, without that sauce, it tastes like they're breadsticks. Yeah. Which are good breadsticks. But. Still something Pizza Plus is better at, just to be honest. The, than Little Caesars? Yeah, I like Pizza Plus cheese sticks better. Oh, you're, you're on something then. Little Caesar has one of the best breadsticks they've ever. Really? No. They're okay. If they had cheese on them. Well, then you got to compare no cheese to no cheese. The Pepe bread, which is pretty much the same thing, is good. Pepe bread would have to go with their Italian cheese bread. They have Little Caesars. I don't have no cheese on it. No, I don't think the Italian does either. Does it? No. Pepe bread looks just like little, just twisted versions of the little Caesars. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the sticks called? Raisin bread. Yeah. I don't know. That second slice, it's okay. A lot of sauce in the middle. Um, but without the sauce, it's just breadsticks. I really need a napkin. Like my whole hand is covered in grease. I feel like they both have their own quality. Cheaper. I don't think it ta overall tastes as good. I don't know. I, I like the more sauce of the Little Caesars. They have an even spread of sauce. It's okay to have a lot of sauce, but my wife would not like this pizza. She hates sauce. Oh, yeah. That would be a bad pizza for someone that hated sauce. But it'd be a good pizza for somebody who really loves sauce. I mean, you get a lot of you get loaded down with sauce, but I, I'd have to give it to Little Caesars myself. I feel like it's gonna be split because I feel like pizza Pizza Hut has the edge. That's the only thing. Like value wise, you're getting the better value because you got the same taste wise I think that's better I think this is harder to eat because it's harder yeah because it's just like I feel like I'm working <laughs> yeah but it's so messier much to dense eat dense shoe bread yeah this is messier to eat you're greased than sauced I mean it's messier <laughs> but it's not harder it is this area I could eat probably a whole thing of this I want to eat probably mm. half of that I think I'm going to eat a whole thing of it because this is a lot denser I feel like I get way more filled off of this and have leftovers. This I could probably eat, if not three fourths, almost the whole thing. And they're saying about the thickness, it's just this is more airy. Yeah. Bread. Um, I just like having sauce more of the whole thing. I like lots of pepperonis, and this is a lot more pepperonis on. I need more cheese on this one too. I think they just need more sauce. It like spread out the whole thing. I mean, I mean that's the style of who they. What the, what if they that's eat. really Detroit style. 
Sure. That's the thing. May, Sorry, it, we didn't do our research beforehand. I mean, it could be underneath the cheese, you know. Chicago style is on top. Detroit might be too. I didn't look it up. Yeah. Either know. way, um, <laughs> it's, it's not one of these easy decisions like it is most of the time. Most of the time, we got like you know. Like, just terrible product and really good product. I will say that there was some pieces of this, like when I get in that sauce and it wasn't overloaded with sauce, that it was good. And then when I get to the outside of the sauce, it's just bread, cheese bread at that point. Pepperonis have a little bit better taste. They're better quality. Sauce is zesty. If you like zesty sauce. Um, but when you're outside of the sauce, it just, you're just eating breadsticks at that point. This lower quality ingredients sauce evenly spread throughout the whole thing denser crust so if you're going to want to eat like one of these and fill up you pretty much can um not as greasy definitely not as greasy that's the, the only thing that i really don't like about that is it is dripping with grease so if you're a grease person i mean look at that right there it's okay i mean yeah it's pulled up down there so i mean it's I think it depends on who you are. I think it depends on what you're looking for. People who, if you really like Italian cheese bread, dip it in marinara sauce. That you're gonna that like that. Pizza you're yeah. If you just like a pizza that's thicker. If you're poor like us, <laughs> you can get a whole lot more of these for for you know. You're. Great and dead air, I'm eating. Sorry. <laughs> I can't speak. I um, look like you're going to. So. I, I could, and I have my mouth full. Um, I don't know. It, it's just, like you said, it's going to be on the person whether you like one pizza or not. But I've never had such a quandary in my life. I, for me, I'm going to have to go with a Little Caesars. Cheaper price, same amount of food. Um, I'm not getting overpowered either by the bread or the sauce. It's all evenly spread. Um, it's a solid product. That saying, Pizza Hut did a good job. But I w if it was me, I would spread the sauce evenly throughout the whole thing. Not just have pools of sauce on one spot. Yeah. But that's I, I would do a good little Caesars. I feel like I, I, would, I would choose the Pizza Hut. I don't feel like the price difference is enough for me not to enjoy like better quality ingredients. Two I bucks. I'm I'm big on the freshness, but two dollars is, is the difference, really. I don't for me. I don't think it's that big of a issue. I could just about take a pan of cheesy bread over a pizza, though. Not uh, not me. Because I like cheese. I like sauce. So, you know, I feel like that's why this beats that to me. And you have your reasons yeah. for that. So I mean, but okay, I mean, so it depends on who you are. We're, yeah, we're split on this one. I think you could go either way. I just think. To me, save a couple bucks just get you the little Caesars. Yeah. Neither one. Neither one really are fabulous. No, I, I would just rather have a regular pizza. Go to go to your local pizza shops. You know these guys probably work harder and probably they're gonna give you a way better experience. Yeah, I mean you're you're gonna get pizza that's fresh made that's not been you know done over and over and over again. It's just you know somebody going through the motions of putting it in a little pan with dough that's already been made that being said if you're hurting and you just want to get a delivery style pizza somewhere quick yeah grab one of the, whatever you're and neither you like will break the bank no um but honestly i i wouldn't even if i had to order a, a pizza i'm not going to eat either one of these no i'm, you know, I'm just going to get a pizza yeah I'm, um it's just not worth it to me. I, I would just five dollar pizza from Little Caesars is better quality than I think either one of these are. It depends on if the stuffed crust is involved. Now the stuffed crust these dishes look good. Nine dollars for stuffed crust. Yeah, it's like a normal stuffed. I think it's eleven for the stuffed crust deep dish. There's a stuffed crust deep dish. Yeah, they make a deep dish with stuffed crust. Well, that might be a, in our addition to next <laughs> next week. By the way, is stuffed crust. Papa John's has got in that market, so we're going to hit stuffed crust up. So. I didn't even know there was a deep dish stuffed crust. I wish there was a local place that did the stuffed crust. I don't know of anyone. I don't think there is one. Um, but it, it wouldn't matter to them because they're... They, yeah, they know, never know. Well, some of them... Unless know. you come to Bristol. But, I mean, Maybe if you do, be. sit up a little uh, Angry Italian. That's the best yeah. pizza place. Um, but, yeah. Well, well, next week's stuffed crust, 
be my first time trying their stuffed crust deep dish. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, so leave us a comment. What do you think? Have you tried this uh, uh, new Pizza Hut deep dish, uh, Detroit style deep dish or whatever? Um, let us know what you think on it. Did you like it? Did you like it over a little Caesars deep dish if you had it too? So you got go and try them both. Try them both. Leave us yeah. a comment. Let us know how you feel about the situation. I feel like I'm just split, you know. I'm, I could go either way, really, but I think cheaper is better for me on this one. If somebody brought the, both, you know, one of these pizzas to me for free, I don't think I would. I wouldn't turn them down. I'd be like, just give me that pizza. But I wouldn't it. order this myself. No, I mean that was if it was a fun try. Yeah, it was a fun try, but I wouldn't reorder this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, I agree. So. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, get you some of our merch. It's not this shirt because this is our my shirt shirt. I'm pulling this because I usually wear some of our merch. I'm not touching here this. Here you go. One, but... Here you go. This one right here. Pull, this merch right here. Um, you can get that Beard uh, Brothers t shirt. Which is the best one? Pretty much. Um, teespring.com backslash stores backslash southern dash DNA is our web address for our shop. Or you can uh, go to our Facebook page, hit Shop Now, I think is the blue button on the top of the page. It will take us, it'll take you directly to our shop. And I think there's a link on our YouTube page, too, that I put on there. So there's many ways to get to that shop if you want to uh, support the channel. And we need it. We need um, it bad. Stop begging. Stop begging, okay? The stimulus hasn't Smash come before. Smash that like button, okay? Smash the like button. Let us know that you're enjoying our videos. Um, we're close to hitting that 200. We're almost there. We're so close. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to get to a thousand, and that will only happen through y'all sharing the, these yeah. videos. Tell people about us. Yeah. I mean, um, we got some pizza reviews coming up the way. We actually have a, we've been talking about this last week. We have a fun surprise for locals and people that be coming to this area in the summertime. We'll not disclose what that is, but it'll be a fun adventure for all of y'all. So. A, tr a fun little chance to win something so be uh, watching out for that video in the summertime and uh, get involved in it when it happens other than that you got anything I'm good so right. thanks for watching and uh, let's get it let's get it